In this lesson, we're going to talk about American units of volume. So the volume, uh, like the area, is the amount of space something takes up. But the difference is, it's how much space it takes up in three dimensions instead of just two. Right? So we measure volume in things like cubic feet, cubic yards, cubic inches. So um, what is, say, a cubic foot? Well, remember that area was measured in square feet, and that was a square where all the sides had length one foot. Well, a cubic foot is a cube where all the faces of the cube are a square foot. Okay, so looks like this. So when you want to know the volume of something, you're really kind of asking how many of these cubes fit into the object that you're trying to find the volume of. Okay. So let's do an example here. Suppose you are going to need about 500 cubic feet of concrete for a construction job. How many cubic yards should be ordered? So, um, and when you order concrete, um, you know, say from a dump truck, um, they're going to deliver it to you in cubic yards, not cubic feet. So this would be a necessary conversion to make. So we need to start off with our 500 cubic feet. Okay, so we need to get an answer in cubic yards. We need to get an answer in cubic yards. So we know that we need the cubic feet to go away and we need cubic yards to appear and we can see from this equivalency here that one cubic yard is the same as 27 cubic feet. So that right away gets us the units we want. Our cubic feet cancel out and so we're left with 500 divided by 27 cubic yards. And then we just need to carry out this, this division here. So let's see. 27 almost goes into 50 twice, but not quite, because 25 goes into 50 exactly twice, and 27 is a little bigger. So we're only going to fit that in once with kind of a large remainder here, I'm thinking. So we have a remainder of 23, drop down the zero. Let's see, 27 goes into 230, I'm gonna think eight times here. So eight times seven is 56. Eight times two is 16, plus five is 21. Looks like we had a pretty decent guess there. So a remainder of 14. And I'm going to go ahead and add another zero, drop that down. 27 goes into 140, let's say five times. So seven times five is 35. Five times two plus three is 13. Okay. And we have a remainder of five, drop down the zero. This will be the last one we'll do. Oops. That was a slip up. So 27 goes into 50. Well, we saw 50 earlier. We know that only happens once. Okay, now this, uh, this division problem isn't stopping for us, but let's remember what the question was. How many cubic yards should be ordered, right? So if you have 18.51 cubic yards that you're thinking you're going to need, you should probably order, probably order 19 cubic yards. Because for the most part, they're just going to deliver it to you in whole cubic yards. So of course, you're going to want to order a little more than you think you need. It would be a bummer to be in the middle of pouring your concrete and then uh, not have enough. <laughs>